Hey guys, Thunder E here, and welcome to another battle vid. Now this one is between the brand new MacBook Pro 13 with the M1 chipset and the Dell XPS 13 with the Intel 11th gen processor. You're going, whew, latest processors, I can't wait. Now before we jump in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. Now let's go ahead and battle. All right, they are new computers out and uh, there's a lot of praise going around for the MacBook Pro 13 or even the MacBook uh, in general because it's got the brand new M1 chipset. Now we did our gaming video on it, on this and we saw some, some nice performance on this device. There's a lot of caveat to, to go with that as well, but I will say I was impressed with what Apple brought to the table. But what is in this brand new Dell XPS 13 and does it actually set things right for us on the PC side of things? So first of all, on the design department, the XPS 13, I think absolutely kills it. It is a 13 inch laptop in an 11 inch frame. When you compare it to the MacBook Pro uh, 13, it's much smaller, not smaller footprint. And I just love the look and build of this bad boy. It also comes with a touchscreen display. So for people like me, that actually makes sense and works pretty well. Now you're looking at both wallpapers for a second there and I know you want them, so check out the link in the description for the wallpapers. But in terms of specs though, they have similar but different specs. Hear me out. Processors, we know there's the M1 in the MacBook Pro 13, and there is the Intel 11th gen processor. The Intel 11th gen processor has the XE graphics chipset, which we've seen some really interesting performance from it. So how does it compare in terms of gaming? Now the rest of the specs are similar in terms of uh, RAM. We've got 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, I also have 512 gigabytes of storage on both devices. And uh, we also have two Thunderbolt 4 ports on both the MacBook Pro 13 and the Dell XPS 13. So you've got that there, but the XPS 13 also has a micro SD card slot and they both have headphone jack. So in terms of specs, that's what we have. Now battery life is one thing that of course with these kind of uh, laptops, people want to see long battery life. Um, Apple promises around 16 hours of battery life while Dell promises between 14 to 60. Now, I haven't spent time in terms of battery life, but that is what you expect it to get. Now you guys are going thunder you. Okay, enough of that stuff. What about the games? How does it perform? So, quick caveat again, we know that the MacBook Pro 13, all the games that I played on here are running through Rosetta 2, so it's emulation on top of whatever's going on. And of course we know this is a brand new Intel graphic chipset. So again, there is some optimization for both devices. But let's look at the very first game. Now that game would be of course, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, available on both Mac and of course PC. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, when you look at the, the game running at the lowest uh, settings there for both the Mac and the Dell XPS 13. The XPS 13 does a fantastic job at beating out uh, the, uh, of course, the MacBook Pro, 37 frames per second compared to uh, 29 frames per second. So it's definitely, definitely playable on the um, Dell XPS 13. Now we move this, the settings over to normal, the XPS 13 again comes in at 31 frames per second, while the MacBook Pro comes in at 24. So definitely again, playable at normal, so which means you can play Tomb Raider quite effectively with no hitches, 31 frames per second, on the Dell XPS 13. Now moving over to an older game, Dying Light here, where we got to play this on the MacBook Pro 13 and Dying Light played at 60 frames per second, but the resolution, when you go to look at the settings, is 14, 1440 by 900. So no resolution settings uh, there, but the game played well and we got some really solid frame rates. Moving over to the Dell XPS, XPS 13, for whatever reason, it was locked at 1920 by 1200, a higher resolution, and we're playing at roughly around 60 frames per second, between 55 to about 60 frames per second, which was great to see. It was good to see the textures and graphics on there, and the Dell XPS 13 definitely excelled in that one. Now let's move over to the third game that of course we played, which is Fortnite. Now Fortnite, of course, is something that Apple would like to showcase more because of the kind of performance it delivers. And when we look at the settings here for both devices, 1440 by 900, uh, we have everything set here. 
This is where the MacBook Pro actually excels. It runs at 60 frames per second, probably dips down a little bit to about 55, but a solid 55 to 60 frames per second for the MacBook Pro, which was quite impressive. The Dell XPS 13 here, on the other hand, is running at roughly around 44 frames per second is what I was getting on average, dip down a little bit to about 39, but that is what you get with the Dell XPS 13. Now, speaking of temperatures, this is where things are quite interesting. They both have fans in both systems. Now, while gaming both system fans, they kick in, I will say the Dell XPS 13 fan is a little louder. And what I mean by a little louder is just more noticeable. It's not loud uh, compared to the uh, MacBook Pro 13. M1, which was really quiet fan, if you will. Now, temperatures on the MacBook Pro gaming range between 105 to around 110 degrees, while the Dell XPS 13 was about 107 to about 113 degrees in terms of temperature. So that is what you get for temps. So what does this mean overall for both devices? It means that, well, look, Apple went a different route, and it depends on what software you're running, especially if you're running universal apps, but gaming performance was quite respectable. Intel also has come out with its first true solid integrated graphics chipset, and within the Dell XPS 13, it ran really well. Now, I think some optimization has to be had for both devices, especially running, of course, games natively on the MacBook Pro and getting optimized software in terms of graphics, for the Intel Dell XPS 13. I think overall though, the XPS 13 really hit the spot for me because as a laptop itself, it packs in a whole lot. It's got that touchscreen display, it's very vibrant. You've got a smaller form factor, again, compared to the MacBook Pro 13, it just looks smaller, still a 13 inch laptop. So I like those aesthetic designs there. I also like the battery life stated, 14 to 16 hours and I like the performance I'm getting. But leave your thoughts down below, guys. What do you think? Do you like the Dell XPS 13 more, or do you like the MacBook Pro 13? Uh, well, if you have any questions, any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.